King Tut died, when he was nineteen. He was led in a tomb laden with gold. Howard Carter discovered his tomb, in 1922. On 5 January 2005, 6 p.m., he was taken to undergo a CT scan, for his forensic reconstruction. When he was taken from his resting place, black clouds covered the sky. All afternoon, tourists paid their respects in the underground tomb. Zahi Hawass, the Secretary General of Supreme Council of Antiquities, said that the mummy was in bad condition because of Carter. The contents in tomb were gold, board games, bronze razor, undergarments, food and wine. Carter investigated the three nested coffins. In first, there was a shroud adorned with garlands of lotus petals and cauliflowers. When he reached the mummy, he ran into trouble. The raisins were very hard. For hours, he set the mummy under sun, which heated at 149 degrees. But nothing happened. Carter had no choice. If he didn't cut the mummy free, thieves would remove all the gold. He used wrong methods. His men cut the mummy's head and joints. After collecting the treasures, they reassembled the parts in a wooden box. In 1968, a professor x-rayed Tut, and found the breastbones and front ribs missing. Amenhotep III was a powerful pharaoh, who ruled for four decades. His son, Amenhotep IV succeeded him. This new king promoted the worship of Aten, and changed his name to Akhenaten, servant of Aten. He made Akhetaten as new religious capital. He was against Amun, the major god, smashed his images and closed his temples. Ray Johnson, director of University of Chicago's research center, said, that Akhenaten got a little wacky. After Akhenaten's death, a mysterious ruler, Smenkare, appeared briefly, and exited without trace. Then came young Tutankhamun, which means living image of God. He is known as, King Tut. The Egyptian Mummy Project has recorded almost 600 mummies. National Geographic Society has donated a CT scanner, to scan mummies. The workmen rose a hydraulic lift that held the scanner. It was quit, because of sand in a cooler fan. The substitute fans worked well enough to finish the procedure. Above Tut's tomb stood the constellation Orion, which Egyptians knew as the soul of Osiris, the god of afterlife. Subscribe. For more videos.